Alright guys, this is a little video of me constructing my uh, super capacitors. So right here is just some aluminum tin foil, a bit of uh, duct tape around the outside of it just so when these layers come together there is no possibility of the uh, them contacting each other like that. It also helps so that I can tape each edge up so that the unit is completely sealed. So I'll show you. Here is what a completed unit looks like. It's completely sealed, just got some telephone wire sticking out there, cathode and anode. And um, so these plates sort of come together like this. Squish. Got the wires sticking out sort of thing, if you know what I mean, on the back of here. I'm only using lemon juice for this example, because I'm trying to see if I can do this with just everyday household items. And pretty much stick that together. I'm also using some wax tape, which I'll show you in the process of um, when I build it, that sort of seals in between so it doesn't leak at all. So this bad boy here holds about 1.8 volts and it charges in about five to ten seconds flat and it takes quite a while to discharge i'll leave it i'll do another video on um it discharging but as you can see a little process here is just little bits of tin all my strips ready to uh line the outside so it comes with this as the end result and then later on i'll show you downstairs my little dungeon um, where i've painted on the um sort of graphene, well it's supposed to be graphene but I think it's more of a graphite and carbon sort of paint to line that and then sprinkle carbon on top of it which I will show you later. So that's part one. Alright guys, good morning. Here is what we're doing today. Is in here and with the help of this and some ground up graphite some activated carbon also um, we're making these plates so that's just regular tin foil with carbon and polyurethane mixed together or oh, sorry graphene and then poly and then carbon sort of sprinkled on top and uh, so here's one of our little super cap pieces. So you see I've put carbon all over these and graphene. Just got to clean up these edges a little bit. And this is actually some of the wax tape I was talking about using, which comes in a big roll like that, <coughs> which I'm putting around these parts the duct tape is just to uh, seal it up. Pretty easy process of mixing up this graphene and carbon. It's literally just the old crush and sieve kind of technique. Um, and they come in like these kind of pellets. I think like this was a couple of dollars in an aquarium store. A little pot of varnish, clear coat polyurethane. So that's pretty much it guys, um, and then I'm using Chuck's Cloths, and mix, this is just lemon juice, squeezed myself, um, and it works pretty good, considering other people are using all sorts of different hydrochlorides and sulfides and, or whatever, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it.